opening day fishing season today. Happy days. So oh, that's the tail end. Sweet, so we'll put that face in the wind, I reckon. <laughs> Slowly squeeze, real slowly. Draw that line in the seat. Mean! Nailed it! First time firing a gun and it's a high caliber rifle. I wonder if you got the deer. The cardboard box deer. Sweet, live hunting. It's just getting to that magic hour now. Put the chicken on the, on the fire to roast in the camp oven. We're just going to mosey our way down the clearings down here and hopefully see a deer. The grass still isn't growing yet, so we're just hoping that the deer will randomly walk out the forest in front of us. And uh, it's always a bit hit and miss this time of year, but you've got to be into wind, don't you? Well done, nice, nice. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Crack shot, didn't want to waste any meat, pinned it right through the neck. Right behind the shoulder. Right in the heart, hey, look at that old crack shot. Beautiful. Mickey nailed it, the boys are crack shots. Now close your ties. Might be a chip off the old block there. We'll see. We're going to give Quentin a shot tomorrow after he's had a few more shots with the, with the rifle. Um, awesome. One heart shot, one neck shot. Great shooting you lads. Mickey's from Brunner. He's another West Coast lad, so looks like he's gutted a couple of deer before. I'm just watching and learning here. Keep it clean, Char. That's a key gun. Make the hole a little bit bigger with a knife, buddy. Just a touch bigger. Right, like this, so flip your knife up, that's it. Just make that hole a little bit bigger. Watch your point, watch your point doesn't go through and stab the guts. That's it. Good work, Charlie. Good work, mate. Crack shooting there. Kill there, bro. That is no, that look at that. It's amazing he made it as far as he did. He yeah. would have gone, I don't know, 20 metres 20 or meters, so. Yeah. 
what they do in Germany and the Northern Hemisphere at Quentin is they put a bit of grass in the deer's mouth to send it to the afterlife as a sign of respect so it's got something to eat in heaven. Yeah, that's not a bad thing to do. Cubes, you can stuff a bit of grass. Give a little, put a little bit of grass in its mouth, mate. What are they called? They don't like dead grass, bro. Oh, there we go. Oh, hard work being a dead deer on the west coast, I tell you. Oh, we're just trying to find somewhere to hang the deer in the forest. It's meant to hammer down with rain tonight. So we're going to hang them tonight and then tomorrow we'll just raft down and we'll come on up and then bone them out into the buckets and keep on rafting. Is it going to hold your money to hand? Mean, good work. A lot stronger than he looks, isn't he, Charlie? I see um, a real healthy deer, that stag, isn't he? Nice. Alright, where are we going to hang that sucker? It smells real staggy in here, doesn't it? Is... Oh no! <laughs> is that our spiker that smells stinks staggy, or is that another stag that's kicking around? It almost smells like rutting. It smells like tar even. Oh, Maybe there's a tar here and he's been having happy times with one. Good work, right? Back to camp for dinner. Hopefully it's not burnt. Good job. That's pretty awesome. That's a stag from the raw. Someone's chopped his head off and left the rest of it. Isn't that cool? Try not to disturb him too much, boys, because I'll get a photo of that in the morning. <laughs> oh, that was, that was so funny. Are you, like... <laughs> are you guys playing Spotlight, are you? Yeah. No, yeah. Good night. Good night, mate. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Pretty awesome to shoot a couple of deer, eh? Yeah. What was your most favourite part of the day? Um, gutting the deer. Nice, you did a good job. Remember how to do it? Camping hack 101. This is how you fellas make a sink in the bush. So you just get a water bottle, cut a few little holes in the bottom of it, cut a hole in the top to put the water in, and then you just scoop the water up, hang it up, wash your hands. Yep. Good. I'm going to take a photo of this. So Definitely edible. Make sure it's in 4K. Yeah, it's in, it's in 4K. Can I try a bit? Try to get a bit that's not charcoal. Yeah, we'll get you the bottom bit. You guys, the bottom bit. Okay. Can I have that bit? Half of it's edible and the other half's burnt. So if you hold the burnt bit and eat the other half of the heart, she's actually not too bad. What's your verdict, Q man? Really yummy. Like that, like a mix between chicken and steak. It's like really good. Mm. Mate, chefing it up. This is great. In another couple of months, I'll just be able to sit back at home and Charlie can come and do all these trips. Just have to work on the dishwashing bit and the cleaning, and he'll be ship shaped.
This, folks, is the Adventure King's camp oven. It's really good. It's spun steel. It's not cast iron, so it's a lot lighter. Still cooks a mean as feed. And it's got a fry pan on top as well as a lid. It's such a good piece of equipment. Beautiful. Good feed, eh? Beautiful. Yeah, epic feed. Epic as. I was a little bit worried because we had these shibata buns, and as you well know, fresh out of the oven, these shibata buns are so good. But they go stale real quick, so... I slapped them in the pot, put the trivet on the bottom, and then steamed them. About half a centimetre of water, steamed the shit out of them, and they come out just moist and tender and chewy. So good. <laughs> I'm just giving the young shavers a couple of shots of the 223. Once Quentin's had a couple more shots, we can get close enough to a deer tonight. Hopefully, we'll be able to get him to squeeze the trigger on one and shoot his first deer. Pretty successful night last night. We got two deer. It was a great morning. Rain all night, cleared up, and we had a delicious breakfast. Charlie's yelling at me. Oh, that's fantastic news. He hit where he was aiming. Look at that scenery. Look at the view. Never looks as good on screen, does it, as it does in real life. It's so hard, so hard to translate that magnificence onto the screen. Sensational. I'm going to try capture it on my screen. I'm using my bloody phone because my camera battery's gone flat already. <laughs> Roll and grow, look sharp. Oh, that was sharp as. With it. Are you down with it? Are you down with it? I'm just boning the deer out. It's the first time I've given this little victory knife a go. It is the 330310. It's very small and very light. It's got quite a thin blade, but it's just peeled through a yearling and it's still razor sharp. Mickey was a boner at the meat wax. I, sh I should have actually just let him do both of there and watched and learned. I just hacked mine to bits with my victory knife. Rah! Just hacked at the bits and threw it in the bucket. Mickey's is all separated in the cuts and is awfully tidy. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin I came to win, battle me, that's a sin Who never slack up, punk, you better back up Try and play the role, yo, the whole crew are lacked up Get up, stand up, come on, throw your hand up You got the feeling, jump up, touch the ceiling Mugs, let the funk flow, someone talk junk, yo Bust them in his eye Take that punk's whole feeling Funky, amps in the trunk eh? Got more rhymes than this cops at a Dunkin' Donut shop, sure enough I got pop From the kids on the hill plus my mom and my pop I came to get down, came to get down So get out your seat, everybody Jump around Everybody jump around Everybody jump around Everybody jump around Town, bed to bed, it's like I said, we jump around, everybody jump around, I'll serve your ass like John McEnroe, if your girl step up, I'll still smack that hoe, word to your mom, I came to drop on, got more rhyme than the Bible got some, just like the prodigal son, I've returned, Anyone stepping to me, they getting burned See, cause I got lyrics, but you ain't got none To come to battle, bring a shotgun
Uh, let's get into a dark scene now. Haven't seen anything walk out. They must have heard us gallivanting around camp making a racket. Young Cruz back to camp, have a cup of tea, had some roast pork, go to bed, go for a hunt in the morning. Good work, son. Good work. Dinner is served. It's late. It's hard. What time is it, Charlie? Almost nine o'clock. Yes, did plan for late dinner because I thought we'd actually be gutting there and would get back about nine o'clock. But been sitting around the fire for 15 minutes waiting for that pork to cook. Oh, it smells so good. What was your favourite part of the day? Uh, whitewater rafting down the river. The rafting bit, the bit where we went down the rapids, eh, and got stuck several times. What about you, Char? What was your most favourite part of the day? Probably the same thing. The rafting? That's probably pretty much all we did. Fun. What about you, Tim? I will, I will say rafting today is number one adventure. Pretty awesome day, wasn't it? What about you, Mac Dog? Oh, I love the venison recovery, mate. It's always my favourite. The venison recovery. Yeah, oh yeah, I'd yes. forgotten about that. That was a that was a bit of a highlight, wasn't it? My favourite part of the day was hearing about everyone else's favourite part of the day. It was actually my favourite part of the day was waking up and listening to the rain on the tent and going back to sleep again. And not getting out of bed and going to work. And then I had to get out of bed and go to work. But I got a respite today. It was awesome. And I was listening. I was like, oh. And I did hear voices. Was that you? I heard you talking pretty early. Yeah, and then the voices the stopped. Oh, Tim was up. There you go. I was late for work today. You get that in the big jobs. I was just about to go to bed and I heard this thump, thump, thump. I turned around and Charlie's legging it across the grass chasing this possum. He was about two feet behind it disappeared into the trees. I haven't heard a squeal so I guess he hasn't caught it. <laughs> Keep your torch on, that's it. Kipley doesn't bite your arm. He's angry as a buck. He's pussing. No, I'm pussing you. Yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> Good work. Mean. <laughs> Alright, let him go. Let him go. That's it. Off she goes. There you are, mum. Hang on, little fella. <laughs> off it goes. I was sort of going slow down, but then he like Toothbrush. tried to go real fast. I kept on like sort of like kicking him with my shoes. Because <laughs> I thought if I dived on him, he'd turn around and get me in the face. Yeah, you gotta be careful not to dive on him, eh? Alright, mate, brush your teeth. Good night. Yep, real fun night. Easy. <laughs> awesome. got up, we got up, we came for a hunt but the wind was just blowing down our bums, we walked a kilometre downstream, nothing, so we turned around and went back again. Blowing easterly today, cold, that wind is coming right off the southern Alps, freezing tits, time for coffee. Um, good times are rolling. My hands are shaking. Yeah, I'll try to steady them up. They're, they're still shaking. Right, let it go, boys. We're on, mate. Let's go. Ready to roll.
this is a good little fishing hole actually. Right here, you can probably see it from trout stream away. Pretty close on one now. Oh, there's one, look. Damn it. Yeah, the spinner was behind him though. We would have had him maybe. Hard forward team. Hard forward. Keep going. Right, hold on, a few bumps here. Forward, hard forward. Go lads, hold on. Awesome. Back on the job. Forward. Piece of fish, Charlie, see? Yeah, keep going lads, keep going forwards. That's it, keep going, keep going forwards. Scrape over this rock, keep going. Through it, left turn. Stop. Nice. Nailed it. Easy. Oh, I wish we had more rabbits like that there. Yeah. Hey, we've got a uh, bit of a dangerous rapid here. Water's just smashing into rocks the whole way down and we can't raft it. If we raft it and got into trouble and someone fell out, they'd probably die get swept under a rock, under a sieve, and run out of oxygen and kick the fat kumara. So, we're hopefully going to be able to get the boat through without taking everything out. Although it's looking pretty bony, I think we're going to have to get the dry bags out and walk them around looking at that. Charlie, could you grab, you and Quentin grab those other two paddles? She's warm, it's a warm one. Now we just gotta go up, grab the raft and line that down. Hopefully we won't get it stuck. Right, pull her in, pull her in. Good work, bro. Awesome. Next one, bro. Hopefully pull, yeah, pull, the, pull the arch around and it will just drop on down. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Right, hold down, I'll give her a nudge. Man, you rip it in. Um, 
the meat in it. And we get tie some string around the top here, quite string. And the eel's gonna come on. And since they have hooked teeth, it's gonna hook onto it. And it's gonna stick there, because of all those mesh bits. And then I'm just gonna yank it down to land and then get her up. Oh. We've spied three spikers on the other side, but they're on the other side of a very deep river, so we're going to go back up, jump in the raft, float down the river, pop up, and then hopefully we'll be able to get quaint along one. And then uh, Mickey or Tim can pull the other one over. Pretty awesome. We're just boosting it as fast as we can to get to the raft. We've still got an unknown hour of flight left, but we don't want them to windows the wind is blowing downstream from our campfire, so it's pretty exciting. Three spikers, hopefully Quentin will shoot his first deer. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Oh, Smoked it. <laughs> All right. I was looking around for it, Dad, and I was like, where the hell are the deer? And I just seen this thing well, drop. Right, it was just like this. It's Boom. awesome, man. Well done. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. smashed it. That was gold. It was a hell of a store. We got him up. One pegged us. And then the other one pegged us. And then one didn't know. And then when we were getting into position, all three of them pegged us. And we got him set up, took a while to find the deer, and then I was just zooming in, hit record, and I said, take your time, you've got heaps of time. Bang! So we didn't get the shot, unfortunately, but uh, Charlie said he dropped it like a sack yeah, of potatoes. He, did, he dropped it like a sack of potatoes. Because they'd all pegged us, we were waiting for them to go broadside, and they weren't, and one was looking and looking around, and they're going to go, so I said, just hit him right in the throat, and he poleaxed him. Brilliant shot. Man, awesome yeah. shot. Over this way, bud. Oh. It's like congeal. Oh, yeah. A little goat. Like little, little robot horns or something. Nice. Great representative trophy. How do you rate old mate's shooting skills? Not bad. Not bad at all. First attempt, first kill. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, oh nearly got that. Yeah, we'll just cut the hook, we'll just cut the big Quick, come up. Oh, mate, here you go. Cut him, cut him a little chunk off. Oh, yeah, mate, it's tradition. Yeah, mate, I'm rolling. Go. Hands out of your pockets. I don't. I don't, I don't really want to. You got it, bro. Come on, See if you can just you eat, eat a little bit off the tip. And and just close your eyes and just get in there. And take a chunk. You can do it. Take a bite. Eat, eat, eat. That's it. That's it. Yep. Chew, chew it up. Chew, chew it up. Go ahead, chunk it back. Oh, Richard. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> ah, awesome. You got it? Brilliant. Yeah, just run away. Well done. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Good work, man. Good job, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. Clear. Oops. 
safe as houses. Clear. What are you up to, Charlie? Stealing. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big one out there. Alright, let's go, bro. Bedtime. Bed. Maybe this eel can't smell what's <laughs> going on there. He's not the smartest, is he? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's hungry, he is. Getting to put his head out of the water. Drag it out, drag it out, so he comes right up to it. That's it. He's a big one, isn't he? He's hungry. Oh, there he is. One's there, is he? Mm. And there he is, he's right down the bottom. Where'd that little one go? Get out of there. Turn to your right. Oh, just like that, we're getting whisked out of the hills. We're flying out today because it's going to rain. As you can see, it was clear this morning, and now she's clouded over. It's amazing how quickly the weather changes up here. It can be fine and sunny one minute, and then one hour later, it can be hammering down with heavy rain and freezing cold sleet. So really have to be prepared in the backcountry when we go and look at the long-range weather forecasts, carry our Garmin in reach right there this thing is gold the weather forecasts are very accurate and they forecast for your precise location it's amazing how accurate these things are they really are super accurate with the weather forecasting and you can text your beloved ones and call for a helicopter to come in if it's going to shit itself so, home and dry right i've got to load all this stuff into the net now all this crap's got to go in there and then he's going to come rocketing back in i'm going to click on climb in the machine and then we'll fly out off to civilization what a fantastic trip we've had fantastic three deer seen a couple more didn't shoot them let them run away grand trip with a grand bunch of folks all right we'll see you at the other end team and just like that we're out of the woods Cheers, man. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks for taking me, John. Oh, mate. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for taking me, Dad. Oh, thank you, mate. Good work out there. Wait, wait. Proud of you, boys. Just say, what all of our favourite bits of the mission was? What was your favourite bit of the mission? 
seeing Quentin shoot his first deer. Wow. Well, what was your favourite bit of the mission? Getting Quentin onto a deer was pretty cool. I'll always like that. Shooting my first deer. I concur. That was, that was pretty mint, actually. Tim, what was your favourite bit of the trip? I'd say having Quentin shoot his first deer. Everyone said that. And then watching him eat, eat a bit out of its heart. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, uh, yes. Proper tradition. Ah, you, you How about that, that, Cubes? It swallowed away. Ah. It's a really proud moment ah, for a dad to see something do that. Show That's you cool, this. Man.